tell me anything at all about this person except that it wasn't Mr. Cropper? That's right. If it had been Roy, I'd have recognised him and remembered him, but I didn't, so it wasn't. It's not too hard to understand. But you said he threatened you? Yeah. Yet nothing about him registered, not his his build, his clothes, his features? I was scared. I didn't want to make eye contact. I was thinking about getting away, not painting his portrait. Look, this is a murder investigation, a serious matter. I realise that. Well, I'm not entirely sure you do, or you won't be messing me around like this. I know you live with your Auntie Carla, and I know she happens to be a long-time friend of Roy Cropper. And? What's your point? Well, when you told Carla what you'd seen, why didn't she advise you to report it? I don't really remember. I'm not at all surprised. Perverting the course of justice is a criminal offence and most often carries a custodial sentence. So before you say anything else, I should reflect on that very carefully. So she did put the bite on you? Yeah. I felt like Quint at the end of Jaws sliding down his deck. And she was at the bottom of the boat with a gob wide open grinning. But you survived? Yeah, sort of. Do you mean sort of? Oh, she was relentless. She even mentioned you. Me? I think she was just trying to get in my head, but it was like she wouldn't back off unless I gave her something. Why don't I like the sound of where this is going? What did you tell her? Not much. Bobby? I told her that I saw a bloke in a balaclava and a dark coat with a fur-trimmed hood. That's all. That's all? You've just sent the entire police investigation down a blind alley? They won't find Roy down there. No, but they won't find anybody who actually did it either, will they? I panicked. Swain wasn't buying that I couldn't remember anything. Doesn't matter whether she was buying it or not, does it? She couldn't prove that you you didn't see someone. I thought you were going to stick to the story. I did, kind of. It's not like I told her I saw someone in a gold puffer with Adrian Childs' face on it. Adrian Childs? I don't know the first name that popped into my head. Anyway, the point is there must be millions of dark coats with fur-trimmed hoods. So general, I might as well have said nothing. So Roy's agreed I can visit him this afternoon. Oh, that's wonderful. Wonderful. Buck him up no end to see a friendly face. Is that why you didn't go? The only place, eh? The only place that I want to see Roy is back behind that counter where he belongs. Amen to that. Mm. Ridiculous that they're still holding him. Well, hopefully not for much longer. Not now I've changed my statement to the police. Uh, you are? You've changed your statement? Uh. Yeah, I've been racking my brains. Which generally doesn't take long. Anyway, I saw a fella running away from Lauren's flat. He was wearing a balaclava and he had a dark coat with a fur-trimmed hood, so I told the police, obviously. Well, that doesn't really narrow things down. Well, it narrows it down enough for maybe get Roy out on bail. So why didn't you tell the coppers this before? Yeah, I was scared. He was a big bloke. He said he'd kill Lauren if I told anyone anything. Which is probably why we should keep this between ourselves, you know, let the police get to the top and bottom of it. You done with these? Sorry? You finished? Yeah. Yeah, Tar. You're back in the land of the living, are you, I was just thinking about something. Oh, well, that must have been the grinding noise I heard. I'm thinking that the dishwasher must be playing up. Hey, listen, remember when I covered for you in the charity shop ages ago? How could I forget? Talk about vultures. She wants so much standing behind the counter as circling overhead. Anything I had, I paid for. It was all in the till. Oh, yeah, all ten quid of it. I shan't be asking her again. Anyway, I think I've remembered something important for Roy. Yes. Yes, I admit, I did have a route through the donations. And, well, I mean, why wouldn't you? That's why people do that job. And, and... There was a load of old kids' clothes came in. But there was a fella's coat with it as well. It was dead nice, in mint condition. I couldn't believe it had been donated. So I was tempted to buy it for our Tyrone. But I'd taken so much as it was, and I knew you'd pull a face. Excuse me, where are we going with this story? Well, it couldn't have been long after that Lauren went missing. I reckon we're talking days. And it was a dark coat with a fair-trimmed hood. So? Was it still there? No. 
Joe, it had gone long since. Hardly surprising, it was mint. I recognised a kiddie's jumper that came in with it, though it was still on the rack, and it had a name tag inside. Have you told the police? They yeah, we've just come from the station. Right, and whose name was in it, then? No, 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 no. You again? We'd like you to come down to the station, Mr Osborne. What for? Good question. Has Max Turner been shearing his mouth off again? No. But there has been a development in the Lauren Bolton investigation. What kind of development? We'd prefer to discuss that with Mr Osborne. So if you'd be good enough to come with us, sir. So let me get this straight. This is about an old coat. Mr. Osborne matched the description of a masked male seen fleeing Lauren Bolton's flat on the day of her disappearance. The assailant wore a dark coat with a fur-trimmed hood. And I used to have a dark coat with a fur-trimmed hood. Can you confirm you donated a black Parker-style coat to the Gregory Pope Foundation charity shop on Weatherfield Precinct? Yes, I did, along with some kids' clothes and some books. Sorry, you've already charged Roy Crapper. The investigation is ongoing. And I did have a dark coat with a fur-trimmed hood. Sorry, didn't mean that to sound so flippant. I do get why you're investigating this. Can you confirm exactly how long you tutored Lauren Bolton? Started in October last year, so going on five months. And that was once a week? Yep, yeah, once a week. Once a week for five months, so around 20 sessions? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'd have to check to be sure, but... How long were these sessions? About an hour. I know, it sounds like a lot. For free tuition? But I was already teaching the GCSE syllabus at the STC, so honestly, it, it wasn't like it was much extra work. Last time we talked, you mentioned you transferred some money to Lauren. So she could register for her GCSEs. Do you remember the amount? About 100. I had somewhere around 148 pounds. Yeah, 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 that sounds about right. Was it a gift or a loan? I said it was a loan, but I knew she didn't have any money. I wasn't expecting her to pay me back. Okay, so... You gave up 20 hours of tutoring and gave her £148? That's correct. That's very nice of you. Yeah. Of course. You like to arrest nice people, don't you? You got Roy Cropper banged up and he's literally the nicest man in the world. Daniel. <sighs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, she was a good kid. She needed some help. I was trying to be nice. I'm sorry, I'm really not trying to tell you how to do your job. No, feel free. But come on. Loads of people in Manchester have Parkers. Are you going to bring Liam Gallagher in next? That's funny. Well, that's what I'm saying. This whole thing is mad. Taking a coat to a charity shop isn't the behaviour of someone who's committed a crime. Is it? I'd have burnt it. Thrown in the canal. You're currently living with Bethany Platt, is that right? Well, she's got a key, so. You're in a relationship? That's right. How did you meet? She's a neighbour. Sorry, how is this relevant? Did you choose her, Bethany? No. Help her in any way when she was starting a journalism career? Offered to read any articles? Well, yeah, but... And you did tutor Summer Spellman and were questioned about allegations of improper conduct. Yes, but we've been over this. That was all sorted. Yes. And I also know that the person who made those allegations ended up at the bottom of your stairs with a broken oh. arm. So this isn't mad, you answering questions about all this, is it? When was the last time you saw Lauren Bolton before her disappearance on the 23rd of February? Mm -hmm. 